Hello guys. Welcome to your YouTube channel NB Infotech. In today's video tutorial, we will learn about what is copyright claim, what is a content ID claim, how content ID works, what is a copyright strike, and how to deal with it. So, stay tuned with us, and watch full video. Subscribe our channel NB Infotech, and press bell icon. Where to check copyright claim on your video. First sign into YouTube Studio in your internet browser. Then from the left menu, click Videos. On the right side click on the filter icon and select for copyright claims. Here, you can see all the videos with copyright claims in the restrictions column. Now, hover over copyright claim in the restrictions column and click on see details. Another window will open with the copyright summary and status information. As you can see about the video, this is not a copyright strike, this is a content ID claim. So, there is no channel impact because of this claim, and visibility is still public. Monetization is currently not on, therefore revenue is not cutting for this video. But YouTube can still show ads on the video. Come to the main point now. Here someone with the artist name Chrome has claimed that the audio, I have used into my video's background music, belongs to him, and track name is, Glock Bop. After some research, I found a video on YouTube by, French-American recording artist Uffy with the title Pop the Glock. But there is no one with the artist name, Chrome and with video or audio track of, Glock Bop. Here it is showing, that content used is Glock Pop by Chrome, claim type is audio, impact on the video is no restriction. The content found during start time, 7.42 to end time, 10.43. By clicking you can play only that content as well. This one is our main video of, 360 Total Security Free Antivirus vs Malware. We were surprised after watching copyright claim on this video, because, all the recorded video was ours. And background music, that we have used is from the audio library. And even, I gave proper credits to the creator or artist by mentioning it into the description. I know about the fact, that giving credit to the copyright owner doesn't automatically give you the rights to use their copyrighted work. And the copyright owner can any time claim for it. This artist with name, Chrome has claimed, about the audio track. And this is the, track. Background music used in our video credits mentioned under video description section. And the link we have mentioned in our video, is from, audio library. Track name is, We Are One, and the original artist name is, Vaxento. The current track you are listening is originally by Vaxento. 
but some one other claiming that it belongs to him. But later on, we found, that on the newly created channel, the artist Vaxento itself put a comment, and also so many people as well. Let's come back to our main part of, what to do, if someone claims copyright content in your video. If you agree with the claim, you can leave it. Otherwise, go to the actions column, and click on, select action. The first option is, trim out the segment, if you get a claim, you can trim out the claimed content from your video. Once you click on, trim out the segment, then it will go to the next page, where it will offer you to, trim the claimed part of your video, and also preview it. But after trim, that part of your video will be deleted and video size will be reduced. Next option is, mute song. Once you click on mute song option then it will take you to another page, where two more options are available as, the first option is, mute all sound when song plays. And the second option is mute song only. You can select either of these options, for testing purpose let's select mute song only, and click on preview. Now the audio is muted from the video. But don't worry, because later on, you can add subtitles from YouTube Studio, video editor option. The third option is, replace song. If music in your video is claimed, you can swap out the audio track with music from YouTube's audio library. You can select any music, in free of cost and all are copyright free. There are thousands of music tracks available, you can select any of these for your video. Here you will get an option to erase the previous music from video, and add another audio from the audio library. Just filter music as per your need or requirement, and preview or play to listen before to add in your video. There is one more option also available that is, dispute the claim, if you think a mistake was made, or you have the rights to the claimed content in your video, you can dispute the claim. What is copyright? In many countries, when a person creates an original work that is fixed in a physical medium, they automatically own the copyright to the work. As the copyright owner, they have the exclusive right to use the work. Most of the time, only the copyright owner can say whether someone else has permissions to use the work or not. What is a content ID claim? If you upload a video that contains copyright protected material, you could end up with a content ID claim. Companies that own music, movies, TV shows, video games, or another copyright protected material issue these claims. Content owners can set content ID to block material from YouTube when a claim is made. They can also allow the video to remain live on YouTube with ads. In those cases, the advertising revenue goes to the copyright owners of the claimed content. In simple language, content ID claims usually mean we found content someone else owns, on your YouTube channel. Content ID claims don't result in copyright strikes, channel suspensions, or channel termination. However, if you believe a claim was made in error, you can dispute the claim. What is a copyright strike? If you get a copyright strike, that means your video has been taken down from YouTube because a copyright owner sent YouTube a complete and valid legal request asking YouTube to do so. 
When a copyright owner formally notifies YouTube that you don't have their permission to post their content on the site, then YouTube take down your upload to comply with copyright law. A video can only have one copyright strike at a time. Keep in mind that videos can be removed from the site for reasons other than copyright. Also, content ID claims don't result in a strike. If your video was removed in error through a copyright takedown, you have the options to request a retraction from the claimant submit account and notification. Otherwise, the strike will expire on its own in 90 days. If you like this video, then give a big thumbs up. And subscribe our channel NB Infotech, also press bell icon to get the all notification, whenever we upload a new video. Till the time take care, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.